Hello everyone. In this session, we will talk about how can we use the API mocking feature of Postman. So uh, there is an option mock collection. So how do how can you use mock collection? So what is mocking? Let's understand mocking first. So mocking helps you. Let's say you are working on. So developers are working on some API, but the API is not fully ready yet. So what you can do rather than using uh, your own production server or a staging server, you can use in mock server and then you can test those API based on certain requests and certain response. So uh, rather than using uh, main servers, you create a mock server and mock data and using those mock data, you test the API so that uh, when uh, the server is running, you don't spend time while checking that if this API will give us the correct results or not. So uh, this feature really helps you to test even when the server is down. So rather than using your live server or your staging server, you are using a Postman mock server. And uh, rather than depending upon uh, the real data, you are actually using a mock data. But how can you achieve that in Postman? So let's say I want to test this. Okay, I want to add API mocking for this API. So how can I do that? So I will click on this dot dot button and then I'll choose mock collection. Here I would name the mock collection and say builder, builder mock server. Tagging against uh, if you have multiple version, you can specify by tagging and then collection file. Here we need this collection file. So this is selected and now it's pretty easy. So there are two ways to uh, uh, use mock API other you can use using GUI or otherwise you can generate an API token and use it via code also in JavaScript or in Java if you want to. So when I click this a mock server has been created. Okay, so rather than so this is my mock URL. So going forward rather than using my staging server URL which was a base URL. I would use this with the API endpoint and it should work. So let's say I'll copy this URL, close it. Okay. Now I need to save this. So, so mocking requires a specified request and response. So that is how mocking works. So if you specify that this on this particular input, my output would be this. So once I created the uh, mock server, I have copied the mock server URL. Now my second thing is to save this save this request and response so that i can add this in my mock server and then going forward this can be used this api can be used for mock server uh, so mock api testing so i what i will do i will here in example you have an example right here i would add add example click on add example okay now here you can see so i will say login api okay uh, so if i give this url so i will replace this url with mock server url with this url and this api endpoint provide these headers provide these request body right i would get output something like this if it is not like this it should fail but i would not use my main server for this or the main api for this i would directly use a postman mock server for this so now once i have set up and named this i will click on save example okay here you can see save example you can see this is my login api and this is was the earlier one i can delete though this is not needed so this is my save example now uh, i will close this and now this time rather than using the base url i will use so let's say i i use some other url let's say i use something like that example.com it will not work right because the this is an actual server google.com which does not have this endpoint right so it will only work with the base URL, which is staging dot API dot builder dot AI, right? Uh, but now in this case, since I have created a mock server, I will replace this with mock server, Postman mock server. And now it should work because I have saved this 
API response and API request in an API, okay, in an API example, which is this, and this is available on this particular mock server. So I'm not using the uh, real or staging API server, or in case we are using for production, production API URL, but still I'm able to test. So I'm not dependent whether the server is up and running or not. I'm not dependent where API is up and running or not. I'm checking the mocking part only. I'm checking the API using the mocking data, input and output data, and on a mock server, which is I created using Postman. So if I run this, it should return the same results, which was earlier with the results which were earlier, not this earlier result. So if I run this, you should see everything is same. I replace the actual URL, the actual server URL with the Postman mock server URL and I'm able to test this API. So it's basically used save, save response, right? This is a save response. Just like this, you can either use this or example format to save this. So that's how you can create API mock server in Postman and then test API without even depending upon real time server or real time APIs. I hope you like this session. See you in the next session.